In this video, we're going to look at simplifying expressions using properties of exponents. For our first problem, we have a squared times the quantity 2ab cubed squared over 6b to the fourth. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify the top and then see what we can cancel. Now, we're going to leave the a squared alone right now. And now when we have multiplication, an exponent does distribute over multiplication. So what we're going to end up with is 2 squared, which is 4, a squared, and then b cubed squared. Now when something is raised to an exponent, is raised to another exponent, that's when we multiply. So that would actually become b to the 6th all over 6b to the fourth. Now let's see what we can combine and cancel here. I have an a squared term and an a squared term. Two things of the same base. When multiplied together, their exponents add. So that'll give us an a to the 2 plus 2, or an a to the fourth. So that takes care of those terms. Next, let's look at our constant. We have a 4 on top and a 6 on bottom. Everything's multiplied, so everything's part of a product. We can cancel a 2 out on top, and that bring, leaves us with 2, and a 2 out on bottom, that leaves us with 3. So let's write those out front. 2 in, on top and 3 on bottom. Lastly, we have b to the 6th on top and b to the 4th on bottom. Now, there's, it's like we have 6 b's, b times b times b, 6 times on top and 4 times on bottom. So those four b's are going to cancel out with four of the ones on top, leaving us with a b squared. And there is our simplified expression. Now, this does say to make sure we have only positive exponents. All the exponents are positive. Everything looks good in this one. In the second one, we might have to do something to take care of that. So now looking at the second one, again, we have a quantity being squared and it's multiplied, so we can distribute that square to both terms. So that gives us x to the one-third squared. That's when the exponents multiply, so the two-thirds. And then y to the negative two squared, or y to the negative fourth. And now we can leave out those parentheses. We have parentheses on this second term, but no exponent, just an exponent of 1, so that's x to the minus 1, y cubed. Now let's go ahead and combine like terms. Remember what we said in the last one, two things of the same base. When multiplied together, their exponents add. So 2 thirds plus a negative 1 will give us x to the negative 1 third. It's a 3 there, times, now y to the negative 4th times y cubed gives us, exponents add, negative 4 plus 3 gives us y to the negative 1. Now we were asked in the problem not to have any negative exponents. To get rid of a negative exponent, you just take the reciprocal. So what that means is to get rid of this negative, it becomes 1 over x to the 1 third, and this becomes 1 over y to the first, but we don't need to write the first power. We can multiply. Multiplying across, we get 1 on top, and x to the 1 third, y on bottom, and now we have no negative exponents.